Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Finn's workshop. Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the revolution of Jack Frost. As you may guess, this is a book that is supposedly, and I'll get to why I use that word, supposedly, a retelling of Jack Frost. I was not impressed with this novel, sad to say. Um, I really was expecting way more from the novel. I think it's an interesting premise. You know, you have a group of people that are living in this sort of snow globe um, where winter comes like every few days or every few weeks. You don't really, you can have summer one day and then spring the next and then like long stretches of just um, winter interesting premise not executed well i think my biggest issue with the story is it lacks cohesion there's a lot wrong with the dialogue in this novel um there are times when you're reading this you're just like okay so they know that they're living in this snow globe and then there are times where you're like okay no they don't know they're living in this snow globe and then you're like are they living in this like, you as the reader are confused as to what these characters know and do not know. Clearly, it is established that they do not know that they are living in a snow globe. <sighs> but it just, it was just so poorly executed, I just couldn't. It was a struggle. To read this book it was a struggle to read this novel because it just lacked so much it was lacking a lot of structure there's absolutely little to there's no world building to be quite honest i didn't think there was any world building you're just kind of they're living in a bunker. So, okay, they're living in a bunker. That's great. Um, they're living in a bunker inside of a giant snow globe. And <clears throat> I just wasn't impressed with this novel. And I think it struggles a lot with the pacing. I think the pacing is another really big issue with this novel and I really couldn't get behind it because I honestly had no idea where this story was going and I, usually you know I like it when a story catches me off guard but I can't be completely lost you know I need to know in some way what I'm what I'm reading basically I had no idea what I was reading here I was absolutely so confused by the structure and the dialogue and the lack of world building didn't really give me an idea of where these characters are <clears throat> how they are situated i was really just left in the dark about all of this and that's really disappointing to me as a reader to just feel so let down by a novel i don't think i've I've been this let down in a while. Um, that's not true. I've been kind of let down. But it's not like 100% like, oh, let down. I just... I think... And the cohesion is a big part of why I didn't like it. But... It also lacks personality, honestly. Um, sorry, my back is killing me today. Um, it lacked personality. Uh, the only reason I wrote these characters' names are because I wrote them down. And the only character character's name I wrote down was Genesis because she's the one telling the story. She's the perspective that we're in. And I only remember her boyfriend Jack's name because his name is Jack and it's in the title, The Revolution of Jack Frost. You would think it's a science fiction story. 
there's no fantasy to it, really. It's strictly science fiction. They're living in a dystopic setting with, you know, these changes in weather. But I couldn't understand how this was a retelling or a reinterpretation of Jack Frost. If you want to read a good reinterpretation of Jack Frost, read Seasons of the Storm. That's a good book, and it's coming out with a sequel, Seasons of Chaos, which I'm really looking forward to. But that is a good retelling of Jack Frost. This one wasn't. I, I really couldn't wrap my head around this being a story of Jack Frost, mainly because we, we don't even really get to know Jack as a person. And I really struggled getting invested in these characters because there's really nothing redeeming about them. They're supposed to be lifelong friends, and yet the mistrust and the dislike between all the characters is really off, off-putting. It's just like you guys are all supposed to be best, supposedly best friends, and you're not acting like it. From the beginning, it's not like, oh, they start to suspect that Jack knows more than he's letting on. It's like, no. It's just... From the get-go, there is this suspicious nature surrounding uh, of Jack's friends not trusting him. And I don't really understand why they don't trust him. There's really nothing untrustworthy about him. He's really just a generic dude. That's it. And they're all pretty generic voices. I mean, I, like I said, I really couldn't find myself invested in these characters because there was really nothing shining about any of them and Jack you know other than the world being submerged in snow and his name being Jack you know that's really not enough for me to connect it to being a retelling of Jack Frost um so there's that <laughs> now as for I mean do I really have to say any more? I really don't think I do. I think this is going to be a short video. I was just not impressed with this story. It lacks world building. It lacks cohesion. It lacks structure. It lacks, it lacks strong characterization. Once again, I re only remember Genesis's name because I wrote her name down in my notes, and that's about it. Other than that, nope. Can't tell you much about any of the other characters other than their dynamics just do not fit with the history that's kind of being developed here. It, it's very unbelievable. That's the word. That is the word I'm looking for. Unbelievable. Um, but otherwise, you know, it just was not a great novel. Unfortunately, Ooh, sorry. I didn't sleep well last night. Um, it's not a believable novel, unfortunately. It really was not. So, on that note, Revolution of Jack Frost gets a soft two stars. Um, I think I'm really being generous, giving it a second star. Um, if you want to go ahead and give the book a shot, you can purchase the book. I've provided the link in the description below. If you want to go ahead and check out this book from the library because you are not feeling it after this review, please check out the book for your um, local library. I'm never not going to recommend a book because my interpretation of a novel is completely different from yours. There are going to be people. You might like this book. You might be like, you were wrong, Cynthia. This is a great book. And you know what? Tell me why you liked it. You know, I'm all about engaging with my audience because I want to know if I hated something, why did you like it? If I love something and you hated it, why did you hate it? What did not connect and what did connect with you as a reader? Um, but, you know, I'm never not going to recommend a book. It doesn't matter how bad it is because my interpretation of a novel is going to be incredibly different from anyone else. We all have different life experiences. We all have different um, expectations. We're all going to read 
differently. So, you know, just check it out from your local library. Uh, on that note, I hope you all will continue to support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel and sharing it with all your book-loving friends, pretty please. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and as always, happy reading!